What's up guys? Today on Robbie's Reviews, I am in the 2020 Mercedes Maybach S560. I just want to thank H. Greg Lux in Pompano Beach, Florida for allowing me to take the Maybach out today to drive and review it and to see how it compares to your average S-Class. Now this being the S560, it actually has the four liter hot V twin turbo V8, not the twin turbo V12. So that'll be interesting to see how it compares to say my current S550 that has the 4.7 liter twin turbo V8. So uh, let's go check it out. All right guys, here she is, the 2020 Mercedes Maybach S560. Now this example is finished in the lovely obsidian black metallic and the interior is the saddle brown black full Napa leather. Now for those of you that follow me on Instagram and have seen my 2014 S550 aka Sabrina, um, you'll know that it is actually the long wheelbase variant of the S-Class. The short wheelbase or standard wheelbase is what everyone gets in Europe and that's uh, kind of the base model if you will. Um, long wheelbase, which is my car and standard in North America, is about a $6,000 option for uh, Europeans. Now what we're looking at here is the extended wheelbase. So this is the Maybach, basically you could say standard wheelbase, because believe it or not, as far as Maybachs go, this is short wheelbase. Uh, they do get even longer. There's the Maybach Pullman. I'm sure you've seen the S650 Pullman. Um, this being the S560, it does not have the twin turbo V12. It actually has the four liter hot V twin turbo V8. So plenty of power nonetheless. Uh, it is formatic, as you can see here. Uh, the V12s, I understand, are rear wheel drive only. And uh, this being formatic, it is not the same formatic plus that you get in the uh, new S63, uh, the E63S and all that, where it become rear wheel drive. The S63 cannot become rear wheel drive, but however, it has all the same benefits as far as torque factoring and all that. But as far as the Maybach goes, uh, it's just regular formatic. It's a fixed torque split, all wheel drive. Continuing to the front of the vehicle here. So new for 2018, just like you saw in my 2018 uh, Mercedes AMG S63 sedan review, you can see that the S-Class has received a major facelift, uh, more so in the Maybach department. Uh, the Maybach now gets this humongous prominent grille up front, massive radiator grille. So you have the Maybach logo there and the Mercedes star hood ornament there. And it really is just a massive looking grille. Um, as far as the actual dimensions go, it really isn't any larger than what's on the S63 or S65 or even the regular S560, non-Maybach. Just the way they do these vertical and horizontal slats here across with the huge uh, radar sensor cover here. So the front camera is housed here, similar to my car with cars with uh, surround view. The camera will pop out of this housing. Uh, this is fixed here and the rest of this is just for all the radar sensors. Um, right here, you actually have the uh, night view assist, so that will actually emit uh, infrared light so the night view assist can see. And the camera for it is up there in the windshield, which we'll get a better look at in a little bit. Um, this vehicle has the multi-beam LED headlights, which are standard on all S-Classes, uh, same as the S63 I reviewed. This is really just going to be going over uh, kind of the differences between a Maybach and a regular S-Class or an AMG S-Class. Um, as you can see, the uh, black housings there, you have the main projector with the three little eyebrows. The three lines here signifies that it's an S-Class, two would be an E-Class, and one is a C-Class. It says uh, multi-beam LED there, Mercedes-Benz on the side. And the whole housing basically swivels and moves up and down, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, down at the bottom here, um, this design element is kind of controversial to a lot of people that really don't prefer to have chrome on uh, these types of vehicles. But uh, being a Maybach, it's got to have a lot of chrome and the whole lower splitter down here is all chrome, the whole surround for the bumper. You have the parking sensors there. Now these wheels are an option for the Maybach, but it's probably one of the coolest wheel designs I've ever seen. They are 20 inch, they're forged. Uh, they seem to be monoblock with that kind of uh, center lock uh, twisting cap here. It's a metal cap, similar to all on AMG models, but it seems like they did it for uh, the Maybach models here. You have the formatic badging there, the chrome uh, trim all around the side skirt. And uh, another controversial design cue, but it's definitely Maybach all the way, uh, is the polished or chrome uh, window trim that goes all the way around. And as you can see, these are huge windows, more so the back door. Um, if you thought a regular length or standard long wheelbase S-Class was big the, as far as the back door goes, uh, the Maybach makes it look very small. So of course you have the Maybach crest there. And you have the full LED taillights back here, which we'll get a better look at once we get it back to H. Greg inside. It does a little dance when you unlock and lock the vehicle. You have the Maybach badging here. 
to the S560, not S650. A lot of people confuse the two. The S560 is the four liter hot V twin turbo V8 and the S650 is the twin turbo V12. So, and of course you have the quad exhaust tips, special rear bumper for the Mybox, special diffuser and a lot more chrome trim. And as with most Mercedes-Benz models nowadays, if it has the option, uh, if you have the key fob, keyless go in your pocket, you swipe your foot underneath, trunk opens like so. And uh, of course you can see you have a very large trunk. Um, you actually have the subwoofer here for the Burmeister high-end 3D sound system. You have the pillows still in their packaging for the uh, rear headrests. Uh, being that the vehicle does have 15 miles, um, all this stuff is still in its original packaging. You have the ashtray, cool stuff like that. I have one just like that in my car. So two sets of headphones, a uh, first aid kit. And uh, this here's an option that a lot of people don't think is worth it on S-Classes, even my box. Uh, you have the refrigerator that takes up about a third of the trunk. And while it is a very cool feature, you could put some water bottles or champagne or whatever in the back there. Um, I feel that it really just takes up a lot of valuable trunk space and it's kind of awkward when you're trying to fit large items in. But uh, nonetheless, it is very appropriate for a Maybach and it's definitely at home in this car. So to close the trunk, you can either press this button here or this and it'll lock it and fold in the mirrors. Instead, we're gonna swipe our foot underneath again. And it's a soft closed trunk. And of course you have your back shade up here. Lots of window shades on this car. Doesn't have window tint yet, it is brand new. Does have the full panorama sunroof, which actually has the uh, magic sky control, which is a very cool feature that we're gonna check out in just a few minutes. Uh, being that it is about 100 degrees today, we're gonna be spending the majority of this video uh, in the back of the Maybach, which is the best place to be. So right now we're gonna step inside and check out the interior of the 2020 Mercedes Maybach S560. Right off the bat, you can see that amazing saddle brown black interior, full Napa leather all throughout. You have the Burmeister high-end 3D rotating tweeters, which we'll get a look at in just a second. Um, just kind of taking a sneak peek at the interior before we step inside. You have the full saddle brown uh, on the Napa leather here. You have the quilting throughout, the black piping, and of course the uh, center console here, which has the matching saddle brown stitching, the Maybach logo embossed there. And of course you have the uh, double hinged center console door that opens both ways for the driver and passenger, kind of some Mercedes engineering magic. And you have an NFC wireless charger there, SD card and uh, USB ports there. And uh, right now we're gonna step inside because it is about 100 degrees out. Got the push start here. It says Maybach there on the screen when it starts up. So what's pretty cool is, uh, actually let's turn off the music here. So what you probably just notice is the tweeters, when the music is off, they uh, rotate in. If you guys can see the ambient lighting that's inside there. So now if we put the music up one notch, because I don't want to get the video copyrighted, now they're going to slowly rotate out. The ambient lighting turns off for just a second, almost like it's breathing and coming to life. You can see the ambient lighting in there. Very, very nice touch, and uh, that's really just one component of the Burmeister high-end 3D system, which is, I believe is a $6,500 option. You actually have uh, another speaker up here, a little center channel. This actually replaces the um, sunglasses holder, so some people can't live without a sunglasses holder. Um, I personally can and definitely would love to have the option. You have a, kind of a, another center channel up here. And that's part of uh, the Mercedes-Benz front base, which was introduced in 2014, where the entire dashboard is kind of like a subwoofer enclosure. So in the back here, you have uh, some more tweeters right in the uh, side there with some ambient lighting around them. You've got another center channel up here, and of course, one right here. And you've got some door speakers, but uh, we'll get more into detail in the back when we go into the back seat. But uh, up front, you just have uh, some more door speakers here. And actually, if we open the door here, you have yet another massive door speaker. So as far as the uh, sound department goes, you're definitely covered in the Mercedes Maybach. And earlier when I was talking about magic sky control up here in the full glass panoramic roof, there are actually electrochromic glass panels here. So you can see the sun is out blaring up there. We have the sunshades open where actually can't feel any heat coming through and it's cool to the touch. 
And if we actually press this button up here, So there's still a fairly dark tint on the windows and you really can't feel that much heat coming through. The sun is way brighter than it was. But uh, for, if you want to drive with the sunshade open during the day, you just press that button. And in a matter of about one second, uh, the glass darkens and you can have the sunshades open. And then at night you can turn it off if you want to look up at the stars and stuff. But it's a really cool option that I believe is standard on all my box. Um, but it's actually a pretty pricey option for regular S-classes or AMG S-classes. So continuing over to the steering wheel here, you have the Maybach logo. Uh, it's a perfectly round steering wheel, uh, three spoke. You have the uh, touch pads here for the touch controls, similar to in the AMG S63 that I reviewed. I'm not gonna get too in depth into the controls here, but pretty much these capacitive touch pads. Uh, you can swipe and change the gauges and all that. You can do it for the left side too. And then you can actually change the dis designs of the displays. So just go up here, designs, you have sport, progressive, actually progressive is pretty cool, I'll leave it on that. I do like the uh, central gauge design there. If you hit this to go home, and it takes you to, I'll just go back to trip, actually drive assist, let's check that out. So this vehicle has attention assist, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, which all the options are actually in the uh, center command screen, which we'll check out in a little bit. But uh, moving back, we'll go back home or to trip. There we go. As you can see, this vehicle only has 15 miles on it. It's a brand new car. And uh, being a Maybach, for the driving portion of the review, we're not going to be driving it hard. And you guys can pretty much expect what a car like this will drive like. A big floaty boat. Um, the, real, the main goal is to be comfortable, especially for the rear passengers there. However, um, we are going to get out on the road and see what it is like to drive, how it does compare to a very muscular and high performance AMG S63 or an S65. But uh, this being the V8 variant, the S560, it's more appropriate to compare it to the S63. So uh, moving back here. So when it's on the progressive screen, you can actually choose what to have on each side. We'll just have the uh, miles. So similar to the 2018 S63 that I reviewed, um, we go into seats here, all the same features as far as massage. You have hot relaxing back, hot relaxing shoulder, activating massage, classic, mobilizing, active workout. If we go back here, actually have um, energizing comfort, which has all the different um, settings and modes, programs. It'll change the ambient lighting, the AC, uh, the music based on the program you choose. Right, so we have refresh which puts the uh, seat coolers on. The, uh, well, the air is really high. Um, has the uh, atomizer on, the perfume atomizer. We have warmth, which kind of does the opposite of that, makes it very hot in here. We have vitality, which should change the music. Here's uh, well-being. So you get the point. Uh, it's just the different programs and you can just turn them off there. If we go back, we have dynamic select, which is not gonna be anything as crazy as an AMG, but you do have engine data. And that'll show you kind of your gauges here. vehicle data, which is probably the coolest looking screen in basically any Mercedes-Benz vehicle. Uh, you have it in comfort mode, if you put it down or up into sport, it actually changes a little bit here too. And then if we go back, um, let's see what else we have. Assistance, so you have your traffic sign assist, camera and parking, active brake assist, speed adjustment, tension assist, lane change assist, active blind spot assist, um, Autonomous night view assist or auto night view assist. That's pretty cool. Um, it's really just the same things that were on that S63. So if we go back into, if we go to system settings, you have all your connectivity, Bluetooth, you have if you go to radio, you have all your 
uh, HDFM or Sirius XM if it's connected. So this is actually not touchscreen like the MBUX is. So being that this is a 2020, uh, I guess they're waiting for the next generation of the S-Class to give it MBUX. But uh, it is the latest generation of Command, which is the fastest software, best looking graphics. Um, it's pretty great. And one more thing I want to show you guys in the interior. Uh, something that you weren't able to activate during the day in previous cars. You actually have night view assist, so if you press that button there. Pretty cool. Gives you a perfect night, night vision view of the outside or what's directly in front of the vehicle. Uh, it's kind of a higher up position. The camera's up here in the windshield, so it's not going to be what's directly like in front of the grill. However, uh, it is kind of a nice uh, overhead view. We also have the uh, camera system here, the surround view camera system. Similar to in the 2018 S63 I reviewed, you have the self-parking, the front wide angle, front uh, narrow with the top-down view, the side view with the, uh, you can see the wheels turning there, rear wide angle, and then the regular rear with the top-down. Of course, if you put the car in reverse, you have the uh, guidance lines that are active. Same thing if you put it in the front, it automatically goes to the front camera there. So actually if we go back. So we got the front there. Pretty cool. I put it in park, the camera goes away. Of course you have the vehicle lifter here. You have the rear sunshade button, which is moved over here. We'll leave that back up. There's just so much technology loaded into this car. It's kind of hard to cover it all in one video. You almost need several videos to cover it all. So that should really do it for the front seat of the Maybach S560. Now let's go check out the back seat and see what it has to offer. All right, so we're walking around to the back seat of the Maybach. The best seat in the house is always the right rear passenger seat. So uh, here we go. Tray tables are actually already out. Let's just uh, put those away for now. You can just see it's very easy, they fold in, just like that. You kind of spin in, just like that. We can close this, you can leave the other one out. Step inside. And we are greeted with a world of luxury. Feels very different back here. Um, for one, the AC is off, let's get that on. So you have two zone AC back here. Pretty cool. Uh, you, of course you have the pillar vents. Uh, everything is wrapped in leather. Usually my box have uh, leather headliners, but in this case we have the um, Dynamica or Alcantara. Uh, you do have the leather wrapped grab handles back here. You actually have the reading lights here. So these just turned on, if you guys can see that, it's pretty cool. And you can just turn them off. Uh, similar to in the front of the car, you really have all the same features, if not more, back here. Um, you have the tray tables for one. Uh, so we have the TV screens here. It'll show uh, my box, just like the front screens, same graphics and everything. Um, basically mimics the uh, infotainment and everything up there. So let's see if we can find the remotes. Usually in the center console here. Nope. Looks like they uh, took the remotes out of the car, which dealerships do all the time to prevent people stealing them or they get lost or whatever. So as far as the rear entertainment goes, it's really the same as it is in the front. And um, I went through all this in my 2018 S63 review. Actually had the same option, just didn't have an extra seven inches of leg room. So we can turn that off. And however, uh, we can actually put our phone here as a wireless charger there. And uh, you have things like cooled and heated cup holders, so if you turn red and blue and turn off. And actually, we close the shade. So if you can see a little better, blue, red, off. Um, you have the cup holders here for your champagne flutes, which is pretty cool. And you just unlock them. Um, so coming to the back here, you have uh, where the champagne flutes will be stored. And this nice uh, red velvet or Alcantara. You have the Maybach logo there, and you have the fridge here, which you can store two pretty good sized champagne bottles or wine or big water bottles. And there's two levels of the uh, fridge there. So you turn it off, and you just close that up. And there's actually a CD player there. That's pretty funny. And uh, you can see the ambient lighting, similar to other S-Classes that have the uh, rear executive seating package, has the 
lighting all the way around, wraps around the door. You have that same amazing quilted leather effect going down the side of the doors here. Everything is just wrapped in leather. Um, there's just a crazy amount of legroom, first of all. And I want to really uh, show that off by pressing this little button here, which shows a man laying down. So if you hold that, My leg rest is coming up. Headrest is folding forward so the seat can move forward even more. And there goes the footrest, just like that. You can actually move the seat back a little bit more. There's the uh, headrest, which the uh, pillows in the trunk, you would just basically attach to the headrest here so you have even more comfort. But um, yeah, it doesn't really get much better than that. You can really lounge out and lay down Put your feet up. It's basically all there is to a Maybach. I mean, just tons of legroom, the ultimate luxury limousine. Um, I mean, doesn't really get much better. Of course, there's Rolls Royces, but in my opinion, Rolls Royces don't have uh, more advanced technology. I mean, look at all the, you have the ambient lighting back here, you have the rotating tweeters, all the shades, the magic sky control. So if you put this back here, and the sun is right there, not blinding us at all. You have the uh, Burmester high-end 3D system there. Actually, we have the tray table here, which if we pull out like so, and it spins around. Close the center console here. You have your phone charging there. You can have your laptop or food, whatever you want, if you want to stop at a drive-through. I think that'd be pretty cool to uh, go through a drive-through in a Maybach. But um, honestly, this really is the pinnacle of luxury. I mean. Look at this, you have your main window here, which has the sunshade, but you also have a little window here, also lined in leather, and you have a little sunshade that goes uh, like that. So it just goes down into the car. Sunshade comes up. It's really, really something else. Yeah, guys, it really just doesn't get much better than this. I mean, look, I got the tray table here, got my leg rest up, got my foot rest, got the TVs. Um, could be more comfortable. Of course, you have your heated and cooled seats. We've got the cooler on today because it is about 100 degrees out. And really just the level of quality and the fit and finish, all the materials, everything you touch is leather, metal or wood, or uh, dynamic or Alcantara. Um, everything feels solid. Of course, you have the uh, mirrors there with the lights. Um, really just second to none. I know I'm very biased when it comes to the S-Class and it is my favorite car in the world, but Time and time again, they just prove why that is. I mean, look at it. You have the ex extended armrest here. You have the pillows that are in the trunk that I could attach to the headrest. Uh, the list really goes on and on as far as technology goes and the luxury features. And really, this car for the money can't be beat. I believe they're asking about 180,000 for it. Uh, of course, the S650 is a little bit more money. You have the V12 and everything, but really you don't need that. Um, the V8 is plenty, plenty of power. It really just doesn't get much better. I don't know how many times I can say that. I know I sound like a broken record, but once you sit in one of these cars, you will understand uh, Mercedes-Benz's slogan, the best or nothing. All right, so before we hop inside the front seat and take the Maybach for a drive, I just wanna show you guys the chauffeur mode. So the button here, the little man laying down, you hit that. The front seat starts to move forward like so. You can see the rear seat reclining. The leg rest is coming out. And the footrest should be on any moment. There it is. You can actually move the leg rest up a little bit more. It's pretty cool. And the rear seat reclines uh, a lot more than your regular S-Class with the chauffeur package, the sh uh, rear executive seating package there. Plenty of leg room for even someone over six feet to just sprawl out. All right, so now we're gonna take the 2020 Maybach S560 out on the road and see what it's like to drive. So right now I'm in the 2020 Mercedes Maybach S560. Now, um, this isn't really gonna be a full in-depth driving portion of this review. Um, it's not a sports car. It's really just a long luxury limousine of a car where the most important part is the back seat and the only passengers that matter are the ones in the back. So with that being said, um, for anyone who's gonna be a chauffeur or drive one of these cars, I do know people that daily drive my box. Um, they are about seven inches longer than a long wheelbase S-Class, which is what I have. 
And you do notice there's a lot of extra car. These cars weigh around 5,500 pounds. And for example, we have a U-turn coming up. Keep in mind, this vehicle does not have rear wheel steering. Um, car is making an exceptionally wide U-turn. And I actually took it a little wide and it still made it on not really the widest of streets here. Um, this is a very pothole ridden road and I'm in sport mode. So the air suspension is actually a little bit stiffer than it normally would be. Uh, the electric power steering is a little bit tighter. Uh, the car is extremely quiet. I don't hear the engine at all. And it's not even the V12, which is actually a little quieter. Um, I feel like I could whisper to you guys in this car and you'd be able to hear me just fine. As far as road noise, uh, the car is on the 20 inch wheels and there's a little bit that you notice, but I mean, there's no music on the AC is practically off and it's just extremely quiet in here. Um, I'm a kind of a sweeper turn here. I mean, handling wise, the car is a big boat. It handles great for what it is. To be honest, Mercedes Benz always over engineers their vehicles. They always drive really better than anything else on the road. Um, I have driven plenty of Rolls Royces and Bentleys and uh, BMWs and Audis, of course, all the luxury cars and nothing ever impresses me near as much as an S-Class. And that's just the truth of the matter. These cars really are the best in their class. And like Mercedes slogan goes, the best or nothing. Actually, here we go. We got another U-turn. Took it wide again. And um, yeah, it takes it no problem. These cars do not have rear wheel steering. Uh, the new S-Class is gonna have a crazy advanced version of rear wheel steering. But uh, this car is just regular all wheel drive. And um, let's see if we can punch it in the corner real quick. A little bit of turbo lag. It is the hot V. However, um, it's really meant just to be luxurious and comfortable. The transmission doesn't know how to kick down three gears when you slam on the gas like the AMGs do. Uh, when I drove the AMG S63, the 2018, same body style as this, obviously seven inches shorter. Um, it was a rocket ship. It drove amazingly, handled incredibly. Uh, the power was just totally on demand. Never had any shortage of torque. Uh, really, the car just felt monstrous. This feels monstrous in another way. Uh, the level of luxury, the weight, the car feels very heavy, and you notice that when you're braking. This does not have the same size brakes as the S63, but it weighs a lot more. I believe it weighs about six to 700 pounds more than the S63. So with that being said, you have to keep in mind you're driving a very large car, basically a living room on wheels. Um, and like I was saying, it's just a joy to drive. Really doesn't compare to anything else. Um, I guess the only thing you can really compare this to is another Maybach. Um, I haven't reviewed the Maybach S650 yet, the V12. However, hopefully in the future, I'll get a chance to. Um, once again, I can't thank H. Greg Lux in Poplar Beach, Florida enough for allowing me to take this Maybach S560 out to review, uh, see what it's like to drive, and of course, to check out that amazing back seat. But uh, right now, really, I'm just enjoying the drive. And this is something that I would honestly daily drive. I already have a standard long wheelbase S-Class, an S550, and this doesn't feel that much bigger to me. I do notice there's more car behind me. However, it's really nothing that crazy. Um, if you've never driven an S-Class before, it is something you'd have to get used to. However, it's really not that bad. Um, I prefer large vehicles. I've driven them all my life and it's what I feel most safe in. And this is probably the largest vehicle you could drive without it being a full-on limousine. Um, like I was saying, there is an S650 Pullman version of this car and that is a full-blown uh, stretch limousine. It has the uh, partition here and you can close it. And it really, uh, that's another level of luxury. But for something you can just walk into a dealership and buy, uh, this one being at H. Greg Lux in Pompano Beach, Florida, it's a 2020. It's got, as of now, uh, 19 miles on it. Um, and for what they're asking, which is I think 188, 190 grand, something like that, this is loaded to the gills. It has every feature you could possibly want. Uh, my box usually come pretty loaded as it is. However, uh, this is really, once again, I'm gonna say it, the best of the best. It doesn't get much better. And I could sit here for days and you know go through all the technology and features that this car has, but we would just be sitting here forever. But long story short, as far as luxury and technology and all that goes, uh, this car has every other car beat. I have never been in another vehicle that has this level of luxury and technology, safety features, creature comforts, really is the top dog. All right guys, well that should do it for this review of the 2020 Mercedes Maybach S560. Once again, I just want to thank H. Greg Lux in Pompano Beach, Florida for allowing me to take the Maybach out to drive and review it and to check out all of its amazing technology and cool luxury features. See you next time.